Well, I was in Waitrose the other day. I saw this rather delicious looking curry from the spice tailor, Anjum Anand. It's a Carolan coconut curry. And it comes in a little pack with the curry sauce and some spices. And all you have to do is add your protein. Oh, I really hate that word. But anyway, the protein of choice, so chicken, fish, even eggs. We're using some cooked chicken. Um, you could use raw chicken and cook it up, but if it's cooked already, it's quicker. And it should only take 10 minutes according to this. So you get the little pack and it says that the spice tailor range is truly versatile. Simply take your pick from the bits to buy, add the specially selected spices, stir in the sauce, and you have a fresh, authentic Indian meal in just 10 minutes. Using the best of coastal ingredients, this Carolyn coconut curry balances a lightly spiced coconut-based sauce with tomatoes and taramind to create a delectable and harmonious dish. Okay, now it does say in the first step, because it gives you a step-by-step -step guide of what to do for someone who's a bit stupid like me. <laughs> and it says that if you don't like the whole spices that come in here, uh, you can powder these in a pestle and mortar and add them in at the end. So that is what I am going to do. But first of all, I need to open the pack. And there are some bay leaves and pepper in here, or chilli, or something like yeah. that. So I need to leave these out because they are going to be going into the, the pan. Get out your frustrations. There's a lot. So we heat the oil up. No, Paul, I have to do something else first. I have to cook the chilli for 20 seconds once this gets hot. That's what the lady said to do, so I want to do that. Then we go the mushrooms, the pepper. You just cook them down. And the chili just stays in there. Yeah. How's it looking now? It's reducing a bit. We add a little bit of extra oil. And now we're going to add some more ingredients. So we are going to put in the chicken, pre-cooked and pre-sliced. Like that. And why don't you add the spring onions? And the spring onions. Coriander for later. And mix this round. Gosh, you could actually have this without the sauce. It's like a stir fry. Oh, really? No, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we increase the heat again. I like the look of the mushrooms though. They're not that soggy. Sometimes mushrooms can go a bit soggy. Yeah, I know how much you like soggy mushrooms. <laughs> no, the mushrooms that you get at the Chinese takeaway, they seem to be like, are they boiled or something? Because they have like a really sort of unique taste. I can't really describe it, but it's not like mushrooms you get anywhere else. So I think it might be time to add my sauce. It says, stir in the main sauce along with 50 ml of water and then bring it to the mm. boil. And then at that stage, you can add your spices. So I've got my sauce here in a little packet. Oh gosh, it's quite strong. I can smell the coconut. Okay, in it goes. You bring it to the boil. I think I need more heat. Pop the lid on. When are you pouring in the powder? I'm going to pour that in at the end. But of course we want to have this with rice and here's Paul to show you how to make it. People in Britain don't know how to make rice and I think this is a rather difficult task to 
achieve. It did take me many years to learn as well. So I put in one cup of rice and a misconception is to wash or not to wash. So I do wash the rice a few times. I put my hands in and then I swirl it about and then you get rid of all the starchiness from the rice which isn't really good for you. I think I went through a period when I didn't wash the rice and then I was quickly schooled on why I should be washing it so I am washing it once more so I do wash it wash wash it um I normally do it at least four to five times five because I think four is a bad number so this is the fourth time and now fifth time so I'm gonna leave it here for now um and I'm going to boil the kettle because I don't really want to be boiling it on the hob. So I've turned this on. Um, this should take too much water. So it should take maybe two minutes to, well, like a minute to boil. Um, so after it's boiled, I would kind of eyeball it and fill it like maybe one thumb or a bit more than that um, to cover the rice and also give it enough water. The thing with rice is if you don't give it enough water, then it's super, super hard. If you give it too much water, then it gets super, um, it gets a bit creamy and a bit soggy, kind of like porridge, kind of like congee in Chinese, and you really don't want that. So it has to be just right. So now I hear the hot water boiling now. So hopefully I could demonstrate what it means. So I poured out all the water from the rice. Now let's fill it up. I don't really measure it because I do it according to how it feels like. And to me, I think that that is just the right amount. And then I start boiling this and it should come to a bit of a crescendo and stop boiling profusely maybe within three to four minutes. And then I will demonstrate it to you when it boils. Okay, so right now the rice is boiling profusely and I think it will take like a good couple of minutes for it, for the water to become absorbed into the rice. At which point, I will need to lower the temperature and put on the lid and then keep a watchful eye on it for a good 10 minutes. Well, it looks like the water is definitely being evaporated and being absorbed by the rice. And now is the time to put the lid on. Otherwise, it will dry out. So now I am lowering this heat to one of the lowest settings in order for it to get proper steam. The trick is, is to not have it too high and not have it too low where it kind of blows out. You need to find that happy medium. And I think I will leave it for a good 15 minutes for it to be cooked um, to perfection. Well, it has been a good 15 minutes now. So now let's have a look at this rice, shall we?
so as oh it's hot as you can see this rice is perfect and this is the kind of rice that you would get at the chinese restaurants so this rice is ready to go and it is ready to be served with marcus's delicious dish that is coming up i think i'm gonna add in my spices now so we'll take the lid off oh look it's bubbling up nicely gosh this is really heavy <laughs> don't drop it am i doing it right yeah, I think we need to get all of it. I wonder who's going to get the chilli. What would happen if you ate the chilli? Would it be really hoppy? <laughs> so there's one more ingredient to add. The coriander. And this will add some freshness to the dish, right? If you say so. <laughs> I just mix it through. Yeah. Mmm, smells nice. So while this finishes off cooking, have a quick look at this and then we'll be back to taste it. Don't let the opportunity to subscribe slip away. Subscribe to It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. Where's the spoon for the rice? Your lovely rice. Okay. Look at that. Lovely sticky rice. Maybe a little bit more. And shall I just go like this? Whichever. Oh, there's the chili. I don't want that. I want some of these mushrooms. <laughs> How about that and a bit of the sauce? Mmm, looks quite hot. Let's mm -hmm. try it. I'll give it a little blow. Mmm. Oh, this is good. Very nice. Is it heated mm. all the way through? Uh huh. Peppers are really hot. Let's try a bit of the mushroom. Have some of the chicken. Mm, I did. I had the chicken first. So how would you rate the mm. curry sauce? Oh, 10 out of 10. Yeah, definitely. So I would highly recommend The Spice Tailor by Anjum Anand. And there are other curries as well. There was a whole range. Another one that we got was butter chicken. But I thought I'd try this coconut dish because I, I hadn't heard of it before. And it sounded quite interesting. We have been meaning to use these Starbucks via instant iced coffee for some time. Put one of these packets into a container, pour the one packet into the cup, stir thoroughly, and then you add ice and then you enjoy. Voila! So let's see how simple and easy it is. We got these from Starbucks one time and this is what it looks like. 16 fluid ounces is approximately 473 mLs, which is right around here. So let's measure out the water. I'm using just a standard water. You could use tap water if you like, but this is my water of choice. Let's have a quick sniff. Okay, so this kind of smells like instant coffee, if you like, but I think that there's also some sweetener in here. I don't know why we haven't had this before. And now let's pour it in. I believe there is sweetener in here. Naturally sweetened with cane sugar. Oh 
Oh gosh. <laughs> Looks like there's a lot. Okay, and let's use this um, paper straw. Okay, this looks quite big. Um, this is from Starbucks, so let's see how it tastes like. It's not overly sweet. I think it's very subtle. I think it gives you the impression that there is some sweetener into it. Um, but I think overall it is quite refreshing and I'm really glad that we got this because I really wanted a Starbucks and I really didn't want to have to go out of the house to get one. I would say give these Starbucks via instant instant coffee, iced coffee, a try. You might actually like it and I think I do as well.